Let's rank the Venom movies. All of these movies are fresh in my memory because I just rewatched Venom 1 and 2 leading up to me watching Venom The Last Dance, so uh, I think this ranking is going to be really interesting. In third place, I've got Venom The Last Dance. I just saw it yesterday, and it was atrocious. There was so many things that didn't make sense. They had a whole plot point to basically not have Venom in his full Venom form, which I thought was just a dumb decision. The writing and directing was terrible. It was just not a good movie, and I feel like Null was underutilized. This movie just sucked. The second act genuinely made me upset. It was so dumb. It was written so terribly. It was like uh, Venom, like Eddie, and this family singing in a van, and then it leads up to a Las Vegas scene that was completely useless. The movie, the final act, was a huge mess that you couldn't even see what was happening. It is easily the worst movie in the trilogy, in my opinion. In second place, I've got Venom Let There Be Carnage. This movie was not that great. I thought it was like bang average. I think I gave it a 5 out of 10, meaning that The Last Dance I gave a 4 out of 10. Um, but yeah, this movie was not very good. Uh, Cletus Cassidy was written terribly. I actually liked Woody Harrelson's performance as Cletus. I thought he was, you know, a good psychopath killer guy, and I thought he did a good job. Just the writing let him down. The VFX was good. The fight scenes were fun. Uh, Carnage does some crazy stuff i still think the movie should have been rated r and carnage should have never been a one and done villain but overall i had fun with this movie it's not very good but i enjoyed it in first place i've got the very first venom movie from 2018 this movie is not spectacular by any means uh, i would give it a 6 out of 10 meaning that all of these movies are like similar in quality but this one is easily the best out of the trilogy. Like, the story is the most solid, even though it's not spectacular. But, you know, I, I had fun with it. You know, when Eddie first gets the symbiote and he's, like, learning about it, I thought that was interesting. Uh, I thought some of the fight scenes were kind of fun. I think this movie has Tom Hardy's best performance as Eddie. Uh, like, the second movie, I thought he was still good. The third movie, I thought he kind of phoned it in a little bit, but this was easily his best performance, in my opinion. Um, yeah, you know, like, this movie, it's got its flaws, but it's fun. So, guys, there you have it. That is my ranking for the Venom trilogy. I think, uh, basically, it goes from best to worst in its release order, which is kind of crazy, because you think they would try to improve a movie that was already not amazing. But they followed up the original with two movies that I don't think are very great. So like the ranking out of 10 for these is a 6 out of 10, a 5 out of 10, and a 4 out of 10. And I think Sony should just cancel this whole Spider-Man-less spin-off universe because this is getting out of hand. You know, look at the Rotten Tomatoes scores for their movies. 57, 39, 30, 15, 11. And we've got Kraven coming out in a couple of months and I don't think that movie is going to be very good. Sony just needs to sell the rights back to Marvel or at least just license the characters to Marvel because anything Marvel's going to do is going to be better than this. And Venom is one of my favorite characters of all time. So for him to just get a completely mid trilogy is just so sad to see. But anyways, that is my ranking. Let me know yours down below.